Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase your FPS when you're playing games on your Steam Deck using Windows 11 or 10. And this is relatively easy. So the first thing you want to do is just make sure some of the apps aren't starting up. So we want to go to the search bar right here and go to Task Manager. And then go to this little application where you can see your system performance and all the stats on here. But let's go down to where it says startup. So here's the startup application. Uh, there's some things we don't need under here, like uh, Microsoft Edge. This doesn't need to start up, so let's go to disable. And then we got OneDrive. We don't need that. We're just on here to play video games. So go ahead and disable anything that we don't need, like Xbox services. We don't need that. So this is already disabled, uh, like Xbox Game Bar. We can go into the game are just window options and completely disable that as well. But it doesn't seem like Xbox is starting up. And now the most important thing though is to give more virtual memory to the Steam Deck. So what we want to do is go to File Explorer down here, then go to this PC, right click on this and go to Properties. Now under here, what we want to do is go to Advanced System Settings. And then we can close down this and this in the background. And then go to performance, go to settings. Then go to advanced under performance options. And then we want to go to the system memory, the virtual memory, go to change. So you got 2,400 and that looks like 32 NV. Then we want to deselect automatic right here. Then you can see Windows 11 on my SD card and then we want to go to custom so we only have 2000 right here so we want to bump this up so let's go to 11264 then go down 11264 and then go to set so we got the install size and then the maximum size and then we can set and our system is going to be utilizing that amount now so it's going to say you have to restart your system now and we'll do that in a second. So let's go to OK. And then the virtual memory has been increased. So that's good. Let's go to the power button right here. And then go to shut down. And we have to launch the Steam Deck into the BIOS menu now. So if you don't know how to do this, well, if you installed Windows 11, you should know how to do this. So let's go to shut down. And when the Steam Deck is completely turned off, we want to hold down the volume plus icon and then tap the power button. So let's hold this down. Let's tap the power button. Just hold it down. The light is gonna go from like orange to white and it's gonna blink. Keep holding down the plus icon until you see the Steam icon or the Steam Deck icon. And we're back into the BIOS menu. Now what we wanna do is go down to the setup utility. So use the trackpad, press R2 on this. And then it's going to launch us into here. And we want to go to advanced. So let's go to advanced, press R2. And then go on down to UAM frame buffer size. Press R2 on this. And this is going to be set to 1 gigabyte by default, but go to 4 gigabytes. So this is going to allow your Steam Deck to use more memory here. So press R2 on that. Make sure you save it. So it should say four gigabytes in here. And then you can go to save and exit. Exit saving changes, yes. And then you can start up a game. You can try out Fortnite. Fortnite should have a significant increase in performance from like 28 FPS to maybe like, I don't know, 50 to 55, something around there. And I'll try this out in Warzone. Warzone, I was all already getting like 55 to 60 frames per second, but I know um, Fortnite really sucked. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave a big thumbs up. And subscribe down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your 6 Tech.